Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 1. Today we're going to be doing my review slash breakdown for Episode 7, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this episode was really good, there was a huge shocking twist towards the end and you know we had evil Superman return and lots more backstory and we get the revelation of who Captain Luthor actually is. This was one of the best episodes of the season. As I said, every episode of Superman Lois has been so good so far, so it's always a joy to watch this, and I think a lot of people preferred this than The Flash this week. I gotta say, I enjoyed The Flash this week. I know some people had some complaints. Go check out my review if you haven't. That's at the top right corner of the screen right here. However, I have to agree, Superman Lois was so good this week, and I can't wait to talk about it. So this was directed by David Ramsey, did a very good job. This was one of the best episodes of the season, but I mean, this whole season has been excellent, and it's just keeping that bar right up really high. Okay, so we start off the episode, let's go chronologically. Jordan's superheroing has kicked in, this is the explanation for what happened to him last episode. And so that's why his head has been going crazy. And so Superman takes him to the fortress. He talks to his dad, who is obviously the AI. And they're going to be working together to try and figure out what's going on with his superhearing. However, Jordan mainly does that by himself this episode. Because Clark is pretty much out of action. He's very busy throughout this episode. And Jordan is left alone. And at one point, there is a pivotal moment where he's able to control his superhearing and hone in properly in order to save Superman, so it's a big deal. Okay, so Leslie La and Edge, they can't track Luthor, he's a ghost, and same applies for Lois and, you know, the people working for the government that are trying to figure out who he is, but by the end of the episode, they realize that this guy is someone who was potentially dead, and they also know he's from another planet now, We'll get to that in just a second. I know you guys are hyped and you probably want me to talk about it right here, but we're going to get to that, I promise you, so stick around. Anyway, Lana is working with Edge for the first time as a worker. She is spying for Lois. Meanwhile, this is happening. Clark is teaching Jordan about his hearing, but like I mentioned, he doesn't have that much time to do that, and it's mainly Jordan doing it by himself. And so at this point, Luther slash Marcus, or whoever he is, talks to Lois and she confronts him about who he actually is and so that's when we cue in some of the flashbacks and there are multiple flashbacks in this episode which obviously align similar to Arrow and I think that's why it's great that David directed this episode because Arrow obviously was known for that kind of structure of doing flashbacks throughout the episodes in order to build context and so it kind of felt like an Arrow episode in a weird way. So yeah, you get the flashback, you have Lois and him they have a kid on their earth, and it's at that point they look out the window, they see Superman, and they're like, what's Superman doing? Well, he is the sort of Ultraman of their earth, and there is a whole bunch of them. I mean, there's no explanation why there's so many evil Supermans, and like, why there is like 10 of them. However, they all destroy the city, and at that point you realize, or they realize, the characters realize, oh crap, we have to do something about this, and something later in the episode motivates Marcus, aka Luthor, aka whoever he turns out to be, even more on his mission to try and stop him, and that motivates what happens in present day with him trying to stop Superman once again. And so, I have to mention great cinematography, great CGI, especially in this scene, I think is really, really memorable and it's stuck in my mind ever since. Okay, so Clark scouts out Lois's encounter with Luthor slash Marcus at the diner. And so Clark finds out by going into his trailer about his AI, and she says Captain Luthor. And so at this point, Clark realizes he could be a Luthor. So they do some digging to try and find out if he is somehow linked to the Lex, obviously John Cryer's Lex, from RF. However, that comes up blank. And like I said, he is this ominous mystery man. And so he knows Edge is forming an army to take over the world, and Metropolis is apparently just this first city that will be falling. And so I would presume the stuff that happens with the multiple Supermans on his Earth is because of Edge. And with Leslie being confirmed to be like a normal human but turned into a kind of Kryptonian with the same powers, 
I think that's what happened on his Earth. That makes completely sense that you would have like one version of Superman. Maybe the real Superman on his Earth was actually not bad, but maybe he was killed off by these duplicates, these replicas of Superman who was turned evil by Edge, and that is the reason why you have so many Superman, and that's why they are like robots killing everyone, and they are nothing like Superman. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, and that's my theory right now. Let me know, do you think I'm right or wrong in the comments down below. And so at this point, Clark reveals to Lois that Marcus is a Luthor, or potentially a Luthor, and so he's on the road trying to prevent some people get into the mines, you know, Edge's workers. He's able to stop them as Superman flies the truck onto a mountain. And so at this point they're like, enough games. And Luthor reveals himself to Lois finally. And whilst this is all happening, Leslie La is listening in with her super hearing. Obviously this is like a big theme throughout this episode and it kind of makes sense. And now they're able to get that shipment in whilst Superman is distracted and Luthor is distracted because they are battling each other, and so they're going to set up a meeting with Superman Luthor, and so meanwhile this is all happening, Jordan still struggles with his hearing, and at that point, Jordan listens in on Sarah, and hears the conversation Jonathan has with her, and so this causes a mini conflict in this episode between the two brothers, and that is resolved by the end of the episode, and it's just a little bit of squabbling, and I mean, He's not, like, doing anything wrong, technically, Jonathan, because Sarah isn't, like, with Jordan, so... I mean, they're just talking, and I guess it just kind of aggravated Jordan a bit, because he is isolated at home. Then we cue into another flashback, and Lois knows of Kryptonite in this. She's talking to the TV, and so evil Superman comes and flies behind her, and you have Luthor and their daughter watching the screen as evil Superman kills Lois using his heat vision on live TV. So that was kind of shocking and a big twist. We kind of presumed that his Lois was probably dead and this is just like an even more shocking way to do it. Live on TV as their family watched. Okay, so you have that all happening and then you have this montage of Lufa and his daughter creating a sort of Lexo suit and he's preparing for Superman. So will you attack him? Or will he work with him? These are the questions we're asking as the audience, you know, in terms of present day. And so at that point, you have the meeting of Luthor and Superman. And so it's revealed at that point, he's in fact not Luthor. This mystery man who no one can identify has been finally identified as John Henry Irons. And so he apparently died many years ago and he is back. However, we know and... Clark and Lois know he's from another Earth, so he's dead on this Earth. His other counterpart is his doppelganger. However, this is the stranger from another Earth, and so it's revealed that he is a stranger, and they have this fight scene. And so, who is John Henry Irons? Well, if you guys didn't know, in the comics, he is, in fact, the superhero named Steel. So, he is a Metropolis-based superhero, and he is the real Man of Steel, literally. And so you can see that with this kind of hammer that he has, and it magnetically comes towards him, and it's extremely powerful. And so this twist with Luthor actually being John Henry Irons, aka Steel, from the comics, was totally unexpected. And I thought that twist was completely amazing. I absolutely loved it, had no idea this was happening, so the stranger is in fact not Lex Luthor from another Earth, but he is John Henry Irons from another Earth and he is technically a superhero on his earth because he would stop the evil superman created by morgan edge okay so you have this cool fight scene as they kind of reveal what's actually going on behind this and so this big revelation leads to him trying to put a stop to superman permanently on this earth because he knows what's happening, he knows that with Edge successfully creating Kryptonians, Superman could be a real threat to the Earth, and he believes he's being a hero here, although we know this version of Superman is good. However, he is being tested, as his anger in the last episode and this episode is halted by other people. Like, what happens if he was alone? Would he have heat visioned him right here? So, he says, you're not the real man of steel, I am and so he pulls out the hammer and it comes into his hand. And so he reveals he's from another Earth. And it's at this point that Jordan hears Superman being attacked. 
and we're pretty sure that Superman is going to be killed at this point. However, Jordan and Jonathan save them, and Lois comes in at a similar point, and Jonathan is able to lift the hammer and destroy the lights. Is that a little teaser for him gaining some powers? Seems very, very heavy, so I don't know. Maybe that was like a little hint, but yeah. It seems like Superman, he flashes between evil, black-suited Superman from his Earth to normal. Obviously, this is just the way that the stranger sees him, aka John Henry Irons. And I thought that was like a neat twist to what was going on and seeing from his perspective and the way he kind of perceives Superman. And so Lois stops Clark from hurting him even more. And so they capture him and they put him in prison and apparently he's back from the dead and we know he's from another world and Superman is going to interrogate him next episode. And it's revealed just after this that Leslie La, who we thought was an actual Kryptonian, is in fact not. She is the one successful candidate of X Kryptonite and what Morgan Edge is doing. And this teases what we saw with those multiple Supermans from the other Earth. I think it makes complete sense now why there were so many and why Superman was turned evil because this Morgan Edge, as Henry reveals in the episode, trying to take over the world by creating an army of super-powered Kryptonians. And so Leslie La is the one person that has been successful and he keeps her at his side. And also in this episode, he recruits another person and I believe that person is probably going to get tested on and is probably going to get power sometime in the next couple of episodes. And so we go to the end of the episode, Clark and Lois, they're going to reveal everything to their kids. They all come together, the kids make up about their squabbles from earlier in the episode. And so this is the point where it kind of cuts and you realize Oh, they're gonna know everything and they're gonna be properly involved and I really like that and I'm waiting for them to reveal to Sarah that you know Clark is Superman and that Jordan has powers these are all things that are coming and I'm glad that they reveal to their kids what is going on properly and so the AI this is the final bit in the episode is set for Lex Luthor but he was never Lex Luthor this whole time, and that's why the AI had been calling him Luthor, and that's why we thought he was Luthor, and I thought that twist was fantastic, because that was literally just Lex's Lexo suit from his Earth, who was actually Captain Luthor, so there is a Captain Luthor that exists. He was just using the AI that Luthor had, but this was, you know, actually a different person. This is John Henry Irons. Still from the comics, and I presume at some point we're probably going to get him in like a still kind of costume rather than a Lexo suit. So, yeah, amazing twist, amazing reveal. I love this episode. Black suited Superman is really scary, and I think David Ramsey did a really good job here, and I can't wait for him to show up very soon. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like to help support the video. Really does help out getting the video spread around to people online. Also, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. But for now, click here for my latest video and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.